I'm so excited. I'm going on a little adventure today for a new knitting related machine. I can't wait to show you guys. And I thought I would take you along as I drive. There's so much fog out this morning. It's a little bit hard to see. It's also about quarter to eight in the morning. Um, and I've got about three hours to drive. All right, we have gas and we have coffee and we should be ready for a little trip now. Do you have uh, you on a car mount? So as long as I ignore my phone, I think I'll be okay. But this is a trip that I used to take pretty often for work. Um, not quite as far, but like the, the town right before where we're going. I don't wanna give away too much, just, you know, I don't wanna share more about the seller than they maybe would like shared. I don't really know, but, um, but yeah, we, just drove through prairie and now we're gonna hit the tree line and we're gonna see lots of trees on the bulk of our trip here i still have like two and a half hours i think to go and it's 8 30 so i am right on track i'm supposed to meet this lady at 11 um and this was my big stop that i left a little time for for the coffee and the gas so i should be good and there's like not really any good places to stop anyways um so we will see how the trip goes it should be pretty uneventful vintage circular sock machine woohoo we got back and i immediately started taking it apart i should have taken a picture originally but let's just say we're trying a new cylinder and putting the needles on it and we'll see how it goes <laughs> I was first looking for a table to clip this onto and I tipped it and all my needles fell out. I originally wasn't going to change the cylinder to start with, um, but since that happened and she recommended cleaning it, I thought I'm just going to take it all apart since I'm going through this process of putting the needles back on anyways. Um, and it just took some trial and error. I didn't watch a video about this, but I did about assembly. So I'm hoping I'll do it the right way, <laughs> my needles in the right way, and hoping it won't be too hard to finish the rest of the assembly because we have a lot of little pieces right now. There's these little ones. I'm not sure what they're for, but they kind of came off as I was taking the cylinder out. So we will see. like everything's getting pretty greasy because I am oiling it as I go but I think we're starting to make a little bit of progress here so this machine is made by the Creelman bros back in the early 1900s and um, they had a few different styles of machines they were made in Canada this is an old one. It's been refurbished by the person before the person I bought it from. She had purchased it from the refurbisher, basically. Everything seems to be in really good working condition, and it came with two extra cylinders and the ribber. Um, you can see here, I'm just testing it. She gave me these two cones of yarn, the yellow and then this purple stripe. And in these videos, it's very loose, and I keep dropping stitches because, again, it's a learning process, and that just keeps happening. So the first thing I learned was how to, you know, fix my dropped stitches. Um, and also, um, I realized I was missing a spring that affected the tension and the gain. Age. So once I got that strained out, it really helped um, it not look so loose and airy. This is the first time trying my own yarn. It was just a little scrap sample I had made with the stripes and it looks so good. Um, I've been kind of not the happiest with how my knitting has looked like for socks lately. I feel like my gauge is really loose and so it's definitely solving that problem. And just with each bit that I'm cranking, I'm trying to learn something new, practice something else. Um, just using some scraps here mostly and trying to just figure things out as I go. I started off just 
this with the tubes. A lot of the reason why I wanted this was to be able to knit uh, samples for my self-striping yarn, but I do want to learn the other skills. So once I got the tubes looking pretty good, I then went on and made heels. Um, and then I also want to practice using the river and better cast-ons and toes and everything else. But for now, we're just practicing uh, one thing at a time. I did knit up two of my new colors for this week. This is one of them. It's called Barney and Friends. And uh, the other one, Burger Bites, you'll, that's this one that you see right here. Um, these ones are listed for sale, and I really wanted to get some better pictures with these tubes now that I have a really good sample of what it looks like knit up. Um, but for now, I'm just practicing, and eventually I would like to offer the sock tubes in my Etsy store as just a different option to the yarn. But for now, I'm just trying stuff out and figuring out the best way to put it on waste yarn so it would be really easy to use for somebody else but knitting up samples is so nice I really you know I've been doing them by hand and that's fine but there's something so different between seeing one stripe repeat and seeing a long tube of it here's my sock attempt I only had a small bit of yarn so I think it's long enough I could turn it into shorty socks but I was just practicing the heels Here's another shot of the Barney and Friends. It's looking a little gray here. It definitely, the purple is clearly purple and burger bites based on a sandwich and two of them together. Both of these are available on my website, oldgaandaw.com and I do have a special little discount going on. Um, if you see this the day it's posted um, for 15% off using the code SUMMER, but it's only for a few more days. So if you're interested, go check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.